Gun Talk, brought to you by Springfield Armory. It's often the little things that help you shoot better and faster. Sometimes when we're in a braced position, we find that it's a little bit difficult to operate that bolt without moving something, without coming out of that firing position. Here's a trick that might work for you, and that is keep everything the way it is, but just cant the rifle slightly. Keep the toe of the stock where it's going to be when you're shooting. Just cant the rifle into that operating hand slightly like this, and that may help you. You see? And then as you push the bolt forward, the rifle goes back to your face. So it would be something like this, follow through, just like I do with the pistol. After I follow through, I can work the bolt. Flipping the rifle this way helps with that opening motion a little bit. Bring it back, as I bring it forward, the rifle goes right back to my face and I'm ready to go. So see if that helps you a little bit when you're in these braced positions, especially seated. Then you don't have to kind of move everything to operate the bolt. Having that scope so far forward looks funny, but there's a reason for it. One of the characteristics that you notice about a scout rifle right off the bat is the scope. It's mounted forward, so it's a long eye relief scope. Well, that's different than what a lot of people are used to using, so we wanted to take a minute and talk about how to use a long eye relief scope and what are some of the advantages, Ed? Well, one of the things is it allows you to keep both eyes open. You don't have to squint down and try to see through the scope. Right. You leave both eyes open as the gun comes up. It allows you to track moving targets. You can actually track a moving target with one eye and then focus on the reticle with the other. Well, you have that wide field of view. Wide field of view. So you've got your peripheral vision and it's very, very fast. It clears the ejection port so we don't have anything like uh, brass bouncing off the scope and going back into the action. Right. Things of that nature. So it, it's very, very fast for close to medium range shooting. Well, why don't we shoot a couple and show people what this looks like? Sure, let's do that. So you're gonna square up to the target, right? Square up. I like to shoot kind of like this, like a boxing stance. Right. Instead of getting all bladed rifle stance. So let's get squared up like this. And then you just bring the gun up, leave both eyes open. When you see that reticle in the center, just go ahead and press the trigger. All right. Let's do it. There you go. Just that simple. And it really is quick. It is quick, and you, you are at no disadvantage to, say, a semi-automatic rifle uh, for all practical purposes. Just one of those things you practice with, you get used to it, and you'll see the advantages right away. But you can put your scope pretty much anywhere you want. Now here's another way that you can set up this scout rifle. Obviously the traditional way for a scout would be a long eye relief or intermediate eye relief scope, but this is a traditional scope. This is a 1.1 to 8 power Leupold Mark 8. Nice scope, traditional setup, Dave Biggers with excess sights. You guys have this interesting rail, kind of gives you a lot of options. Yeah, it's a long rail. We did Mark, or, uh, Mark Gurney from Ruger was nice enough to get in touch with us, and particularly just for this project and while we're out here at Gunsight, they wanted something to be able to mount conventional scopes, and we were able to whoop this up for him, but you can see you've got a whole lot of room on here. You can put a red <laughs> dot, you can put an intermediate eye relief scope on it. You could actually run a conventional scope and put night vision behind it, because there's a long footprint. There's there. a lot there's of real a lot estate of here. room to put stuff on. Well, how do you guys attach this on, onto the rifle? The, uh, the rifle comes with three different mounting locations. The rear sight typically is mounted right here in the back. So okay. we run one screw down through here. Then you've got two positions up on the barrel, which are designed to run with the uh, the Ruger scout mount. So we've got two screws here, two screws here, a single here, and you bridge over the receiver. So it's very sturdy and it's very stable. It's not going to go anywhere. Well, it certainly gives you a lot of real estate, gives you a lot of different options on ways to mount optics and other things onto this rifle. The scout rifle is a fascinating collection of tweaks. But the big payoff is when shooting close, moving fast, and getting into tight places. Next up, we put it to the test. 